Welcome. Today's Tech Talk is about Effective Technologies Transport version 5 new features. Today's new feature is on self-service data management. My name is Scott Bunton and I'll be pre presenting today's Tech Talk. Before we talk about the new self-service data management, I would like to take a moment to give you a brief overview of Effect Tech Transport application. Transport is a Remedy application that moves data from CSV files, quickly load into staging forms, then validated before moving into the ITSM applications. This process can be a very iterative process and you can load data uh, multiple times without requiring the data admin to remove data before we load it. The ET Transport is fully integrated with ITSM, CMDB, SLM, and SRM. Transport install has no customizations within the BMC Remedy Suite BSM applications. What we have seen is we lower your Remedy ITSM data management effort by at least 50%. That's about an average there. We streamline ITSM foundation management and we simplify ITSM data management. Now that we have an idea of what ET's transport is, let's take a look at the new feature. So transport self-service overview is an add-on and it has a pre-built self-service request that allows customers accessing SRM to request permissions in the form of roles and support group memberships. Okay, so let's take, take a look at a uh, use case here. Transport bread and butter is onboarding foundation data into Remedy. But even though we may have been running bulk updates to get the environment up and running faster, there are many times with our customers that the bulk updates does not satisfy all conditions. So there are some fine tuning that is required to take place. So these transactional requests are handled typically by your service desk or tier one groups. Requests for support groups or permissions or other types of uh, people record modifications. So what about our minor updates to support groups and applications? How many times does your service desk respond to the people record modifications? How many times a week, a month, or a year? This number, depending on your remedy population, can grow very quickly. I mean, even to the point to where your requesters are not happy and they are not able to perform their tasks because of these delays. So Transport version 5 ships and installs with a non-customized ITSM interface and workflow so application permissions, support group modifications are handled using surge request management. Let's take a closer look at the service request data management service. So consider the following example of a support manager that does not have membership to the desktop support group. This new group uh, needs to, or this new support group needs to fine tune his or her people record within BMC Remedy app so that they can be assigned tickets to perform their daily tasks. Typically, this would require a phone call to the service desk, open a ticket that would resolve an additional uh, of the desktop support group membership. This process works okay if it's a small organization with very few requests. But when, it, when an organization is large enough to the point where the requests are taking more than a few hours or days, the swivel chair process hinders IT organization from doing their job. So what we have done is leverage our existing solution by using service request to collect permissions and by a role and the support groups. The SR can be configured with or without approvals. Then a work order is created with key tags to begin on-demand process, which gives transport the critical information to make the modification to the people record. Okay, if any errors occur, they are handled through the work order until it is resolved. 
Okay, when this process is successful, the work order and SR are updated, statuses are all updated, and the notifications go out, and that happens very quickly. So let's take a quick look at a demo of this uh, process. So once we have enabled this service request, we'll be able to see the Remedy user account access service request. We'll go ahead and request this now. Okay, and then here's the interface. So here's all my details along the top. Uh, if I'd like to select a certain profile, and just remember the profile includes permissions, application permissions, AR permissions, uh, company access, as well as if we wanted to include support groups into the uh, profile, you can do that and you can use transport to onboard. But in this interface, we would like to grab the support groups from column two. So here, for example, we're just going to choose a work order implementer. Okay, Sylvia wants to be work order imp implementer for, let's just say, IT service desk. We go ahead and move that over to the permissions to be added. Okay, if we don't like it, we can always remove it. We have the save as draft options, and let's go ahead and submit. Okay, so our request has been submitted, and this is all on demand. Now I'm not needing to call in and have that support tech take my, take my um, call record a ticket, have somebody assigned to it, apply permissions, and then get back to me. Okay, and that can take a few hours, it could take a few minutes. Depends on how big your organization is. So let's go ahead and see if Silvio has those permissions. So we'll go ahead and log out and jump into Silvio's people record. So let's go ahead and jump to Calbro and let's go ahead and view and scroll down to Silvio and if we go down to the uh, permissions you'll see that now we have work order user and that that permission was not there and if we look at the support uh, support groups you'll see that IT uh, service desk is now uh, part of the support groups. Okay, we could include um, certain roles, like here you have work order assignee, and these are functional roles on a per support group basis, and that is all held within the profile. Okay, we're back. So on this next slide, we're talking about profiles. So for transport to build the user roles, we will build profile records. These profiles have permissions, support group, functional role, and company access. On the system tab, the requestable profile indicates that the change manager profile is available for selection for the transport data management service request. Each profile can be used for SRM data management interface and supports multi-tenancy. So even though the service request is installed, when transport is installed, there are a few steps to enable the SR so that users have access to it. So using the onboarding console, there is a pre-built import CSV files that you can use to import the service request within SRM. This can be done manually or through a pre-built job that we have that runs out of the box. Okay, Approvals and entitlements are not pre-built so you must configure these if needed. All right, so once the SR is loaded with the appropriate dependencies, transport data management service request is ready to go. These are some other features that we have from uh, transport version five. We have simplified data collection. We have also support group designation change and delete status. So be sure to check out our YouTube channel or log on to our website to view more information. Thank you for watching.